living beings are composed of three macromolecules. Three macromolecules. If I write a formula of CH3, CO5, which is methanol, it is methanol. What is it? Methanol. Methyl or hydroxymethyl. Okay? Methanol. It is a micromolecule. It's a simple molecule. It's a simple molecule. If you take sodium chloride, NaCl, it's a simple molecule. Right? Further, sodium atom alone, a micronutrient in our body. Very micro molecule. Atom. Sodium. I am. Yeah. And if you, you choose the word, these are all micro, these are all micro. If you choose the word macro, macro, either it should be sort of large molecular weight or they should have a large molecular structure. Sometimes a single moiety can be repeated may be repeated. For example, there are three kinds of macromolecules in our body or plant body. Come on. Give me a duster. 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 In structure, and we have different types of molecules connected to that. Larger in size, but sometimes they may be made up of monomers. A single molecule repeatedly attached to that in different fashion and may create a high molecular weight substance. They have two important functions in the body. Right? What are they first number one? Number one is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. Then, number two, proteins. Number two, proteins. Then, number three, fat. Number three, fats. Otherwise called as lipids. Otherwise called as lipids. Fats are it? Lipids. Right? The carbohydrates in our body are reducing the form of monosaccharide or disaccharide or oligosaccharide, sometimes polysaccharide. Polysaccharide. One molecule is present. One single molecule of sugar is called as monosaccharide. It may contain from four to six carbon atoms. Likewise, petrose, pentose, hexose, we used to call. Erythrose, four sugar, four to carbon sugar. Ribose, five carbon sugar. Glucose, six carbon sugar. Understand? Likewise, if one glucose molecule is connected with another glucose molecule, a dimer will come, that is called a disaccharide. You all may have studied already in your biochemistry. Sucrose, lactose, maltose. Right? Likewise, more than two comes oligo, and beyond that level, with the particular fashion they are attached, the monomers are attached, will form a molecule called as a Polysaccharide. Called as a polysaccharide. This polysaccharide in our body <coughs> exists in the form of two. One is a glycogen in animals. In case of plants, starch. In case of plants, starch and inulin. Starch, inulin, like products. Okay? The starch inulin will act as reserve food. They will release energy upon breakdown and they are converted into disaccharide, oligosaccharide and monosaccharide. 
and the phosphate energy stored inside of them will be released and will be utilized by our body for our activity. So how the carbohydrate is giving energy? So if you take one gram of carbohydrate, it may be giving you around four to six kilocalorie energy to you. You understand? Likewise, glycogen is a stored polysaccharide in animals, especially in our body, where liver. Liver is the major organ where glycogen is stored. Whenever we feel a deficit in glucose level, automatically glucocorticoids level will induce this uh, glucose to undergo right breakdown of glucose into glucose molecules that will come into the bloodstream. Clear? It will act as a reserve food. Apart from that, their modified structures will also act as our body structures. Our body structures. Body structures. Sugar derivatives will take main part in preparing cell membrane, preparing cell membrane and producing cell wall, all those things. So now, likewise, if you come to glucose, sorry, if you come to protein molecule, the monomer, as here glucose is the monomer, here the monomer will be an amino acid. Will be an amino acid. A carbon, carbon connected with one amino group and one carboxylic group. And again, this energy with the F, with a group or any other derivatives. So, this carbon is called as alpha carbon. The alpha carbon, this is beta. The alpha carbon atom will contain two functional groups. One will be NH2, other will be COO, that's carboxylic acid. This one is called as an amino acid. There are two types of amino acid, essential and non-essential amino acid. Essential amino acids are taken from outside. Non-essential amino acids are specific in our body itself from our food. Understand? These amino acids <coughs> will get connected, right, each other to form glycosidic linkage. Glycosidic linkage. Glycosidic linkage. Amide linkage. Look at this. This NH of one amino acid will get connected with the CO of another amino acid to form this uh, peptide linkage. Linkage name is peptide linkage. You understand? So, one amino acid is connected with another amino acid, likewise other amino acid is connected with another amino acid, so head and tail connections are happening. So when there are more than several amino acids attaches, they are called as a, a peptide. Called as a peptide. Through peptide bonds. The peptides when connected with another peptide, another peptide. Okay? It will form dipeptide. When the dipeptide is completely connected with another larger molecule of peptide, it will create polypeptide. It will create polypeptide. The polypeptide is nothing but the protein. So most of the proteins are in our body acting as hormones and enzymes. Mainly, most of the enzymes in our bodies are made up of this protein molecule. So, you know the fundamental molecule of uh, the major substance, carbohydrate. A macro molecule of our body is glucose or fructose. Understand? Yes. Likewise, if you come to this side, amino acid, the fundamental part is peptide in which the individual unit is called as amino acid. Individual unit is an amino acid. Now we are coming to the third one called as lipids. <coughs> third one is called as lipids. That you are doing, you are doing chemical testing. Okay? See, if you, it is a complex one. It's a very complex one. Usually, you all may be aware of acids, organic acids. If there is only one methyl group connected with one carboxylic acid, it's called as acetic acid. It's called as acetic, acetic acid. And uh, if uh, instead of this CH3, if it is going to be CH2, and again it is attached with the one CH3 group, uh, it is called as a propionic acid. Methane, ethane, propane, three carbon. So propionic acid. What is it? Propionic acid. Likewise, butylic acid, butylic acid. 
Likewise, even the acid number increases, carbon number increases, there are several acids up to 50. 50 carbon comes to palmitic acid. What is it there? Palmitic acid. So palmitic acid, if you look at CH3, CH2, 14 times plus COOH is the palmitic acid. Palmitic acid is a fatty acid. It is a fatty acid. How in case of protein, amino acid is a fundamental unit. Likewise, in case of lipids, this kind of acids are becoming, fatty acids are becoming monomer. Fatty acids are becoming monomer. These fatty acids, one molecule of fatty acids, right? A simple molecule, such three fatty acids can combine together and join with the glycerol molecule. With a glycerol molecule. You know already what is glycerol? Sweet in case. Glycerol. Fever pink. Right? Glycerol. CH2 OH. CH2 CH OH. CH2 OH. This is the formula of glycerol. Look at here. The glycerol is an alcohol. Glycerol is an alcohol. Fatty acid is an acid. Alcohol. Alcohol can combine with the acid to form ester. To form ester. So one palmitic acid will get connected here by removing one hydrogen and one OH and forming CO, CH2, 14 times and CH3. This is a one palmitic glycerol or glyceride palmit palmitate. One glyceride, one palmitate. Here, Another one, palmitic acid attaches to form an ester. The structure will be like this, repeated, CH3. This is 1 to di palmitate. Glycerol, 1 to di palmitate. This is the first question, second question, third question. 1 palmitate, 2 palmitate. 1 to di palmitate. So, glycerol, 1 to di palmitate. Glycerol, di palmitic acid. You understand? Same thing with the third hydroxyl group is now SN5 with the acid group, another acid group of a palmitic acid. Here CH2O, CO, CH2, 14 times and CH3. If you look at this molecule, if there is a glycerol with the N group O, H, O, H, O, H. The H is removed by OH of this acid to form ester COO. So, three palmitic acids connected to form glycerol tri glycerol, what is it? Uh, tri glycerides. Tri glycerides. Glycerides of acids, palmitic acids. You understand? Tri glycerides of fatty acid. Tri Glycerides of glycerol, this is glycerol. Tri glycerides of fatty acid. This tri glycerides of fatty acid are called as lipids. When the lipids are occurring in plants, they are called as oils. They are called as oils. oils. Not volatile oils, fixed oils. This one, fixed oils. You understand? But the same thing is occurring in human body as a fat, right? <laughs> We are calling it as a fat. We are calling it as a fat. You understand? So, in normal temperature, fat will be in solid condition. Oil will be in liquid condition. Oil will be in liquid condition. When it is separated from plant, it will be in liquid state. In room temperature. In case of here, it will be in solid condition. Clear? In which there are a lot of classifications, saturated and saturated paste. Fatty acids and uh, oils, linoleic acid, linoleic acid, linoleic acid, right? So all of these, palmitic acid, stearic acid, a lot of things will come. Okay? Those are oil, those are those oils are all fatty acids are all used for used as ointment base. Ointment yes. base. Since they have sticky character, along with the medicament, they can be pasted on your body so that uh, it will stay over there for a long time and release medicaments. Now you have a clear idea? Yes, yes, yes. Right? What is background molecule? Thank you.